And every time, every game, we just play Scion. Scion's easily leveled up. GG's. They concede. That's it. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Scion. Very excited about this one, getting to play Scion for the first time. We just played five games with Darkness Control. We did not see any Scions. This is going to be my first time seeing Scion in action. Um, yeah, this was a difficult deck to build because when you go through with like Piltover and Zaun and Noxus together, there are so many good cards to play for a discard style of deck and so trimming it down to 40 was really difficult you can see i like i'm not playing any copies of flame chompers we don't have any flame chompers in here we don't have a boom baboon that creates flame chompers those are kind of cards that i would think would fit really well in here but ended up getting rid of those ended up getting rid of vision that went along with those um even a card like rummage right like rummage seems perfect for this discard deck, but I actually had to kind of end up cutting Rummage. It's there's just so many good cards to play, and so basically Rummage what it does you know it's discards two, draws two, um, but we have a lot of discard draws. So instead of Rummage, we're going Zonite Urchin, Sump Dredger, and then also even Grave Physician. So kind of having Grave Physician replace the Rummage. So these are all things that you know cards that discard and then you draw um, again. And, you know Physician will just draw units, which could be your champions and so on. And then we'll also have the Augmented Experimenter for discarding the hand draw three. So I'm thinking that we have enough draw in there, but you have to have a lot of payoffs. So we have a lot of cards that we want to discard still. Two Jury Rig, these Grenadiers, we're always going to want to discard these um, Fallen Riders, and then our top end, Warmonger, Scion, Lost Soul. I feel like these, like, Warmonger, Lost Soul, I feel like they could be pretty good. Plus, these kind of cards, both Lost Soul and Warmonger, they are five power, and so they're going to be very important for leveling up Scion, because you need to discard 35 or summon 35 plus power to level up Scion. So I wanted to keep those kind of cards in here. So just pretty excited to see what this, this deck's like. There's a def there's certainly a lot of cards that we could play that were not. Mystic Shot right here, Rummage, um, you know, kind of metagame dependent if you want to play a card like, you know, even Stress Testing, right? Like that Stress Testing was really difficult to cut. Time Winder, you know, like if one damage is like really important, that's a, a card you can throw in this metagame. So it kind of depends on like what happens here. There's a lot of ways to kind of build this. Um, but I think Draven and Scion can work really, really well together. It's like a bigger version of the Draven Jinx discard. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. We're gonna try. It. We're gonna try it out. So here we go. We're gonna go play five games in ranked with Draven Scion. Yeah, that that one drop's gonna be good. Yeah, you call them the Focus Speed Sandstone Charger. Basically, basically this Grenadier right here. All right, so let's Mulligan Survival Skills. Actually, I kind of want to Mulligan the Grenadier. Because I think I'm going to have, like, Urchin discard the A-drop, the Lost Soul. We should probably keep Grenadier, also. Yeah, we have a lot of cards to discard. Maybe I discard Fallen Rider, so we make this Risen Rider a 4-2 Fearsome next round. That's a great card to have. I feel like a 4-2 Fearsome's pretty good. Mm. Okay, well, they have the Mystic Shot for it. Sump Dredger. So yeah, next round we'll have a 4-3 Challenger. That should be good against Fizz. Poro Cannon's perfect to go with this Grenadier. Hello, new best friend. Don't want to attack with the Grenadier right now. Grenadier just trades with the Warden. I'll pass for now. No, the stars. Man, our Scion... See, you level up Scion so fast. It's already 22. I imagine discarding Grenadier counts for 6 for Scion, right? Because you're discarding 3 and you're summoning 3. So I assume that counts as six, you know, six out of, out of that. Well, 
I guess, yeah, I guess I could have attacked. For some reason in my mind, the Star Shepherd was the Freljord 1 mana 03 that, that grows whenever it survives damage. Which it's not that card, so I could have attacked with that. This deck looks pretty sweet, though. Scion will be leveled up whenever we play. We can just pour a cannon in the Grenadier to level it up. Oh yes, this is a great game for like creative deck building. Yes, there are there are ten regions, and the regions are like you're you're asking how it's compared to Magic. The the, the colors in Magic are like are like regions. So there's ten instead of five. You can only have two at a time though. You know, with Magic you can have three plus. You can have as many as you want. You can have any two that you want whatsoever. And so the combinations are endless when deck building and I can always portal cannon of survival skills as well we want that Alright, so I think I'm just going to be casting this Warmonger. Oh man, that's such a good card. We have all good cards everywhere. It's much, much, much less expensive than Arena and Hearthstone. Absolutely. Um, both Arena and Hearthstone, you have to spend a lot of money to build the competitive decks, and every single time there are new cards, especially Arena, because that's, that's why I know Arena a lot more. You have to spend money. Like, I was playing Arena and close to eight hours a day every day and I would still have to spend like a hundred hundred to two hundred bucks every time a new expansion came out so I could have the mythics right away that is not this game at all this game is the most uh free to play friendly for sure I've been playing for over a year now okay so I've been playing this game for a while but I haven't had to spend money on cards ever and I have everything immediately when it comes out um, if you play this game consistently, you're going to earn all the cards and you're going to have enough where you don't have to spend any money on this game ever for cards. But, you know, it takes a while. Like, now the collection, you know, now there's a lot of cards out, so it's, it'll take a little bit, but this is this game is absolutely free-to-play friendly. 100%. Okay, so we're challenging these two things. We're also gonna attack with that thing. Osu, help! Why are you here? You have, um, re you have like, uh, like a reward track that, whenever you gain XP, you you gain, um, you know, rewards throughout throughout uh, the reward track, and you they're based on regions, and so there's ten of them, and so you can you can change uh, change your regions. And so, like, which cards are getting. But then also, on top of that, there's weekly rewards where every Thursday, you, like, you level up, like, your chest throughout the week. And then every Thursday, you get a ton of uh, cards from your weekly chest. And... Alright, so these are all elusives. Okay, yeah. I think we're playing Scion. I think, I think, I didn't, I didn't think I had to be too scared. I think I was going to play Scion there. Man, that was impressive. Yeah, Lola brought up a good point right there, saying that was a good win without having a champion. That's true. They had a couple of fizz. We did not actually play a champion. That was a good one. Okay. These are both cards that you want to discard. So we have the attack token round one. I think I'm kind of okay just keeping this. Urchin discard Warmonger, the some treasure discard the Warmonger. Because like these Warmongers level up our Draven so fast. Discarding five power plus yeah, like that's gonna be great. Ooh, we could discard Scion. Uh grant your strongest ally overwhelm. Eh. Let's discard you. Draven, what's up? We're going ruin skin Draven, by the way. Or with this game. Their main goal is to make money off of cosmetics and not make money off the cards. They want the, the game to be affordable for everyone. That's a great thermogenic beam. That was really good for our opponent. 
they want the game to be affordable, then they want to... That's how they make their money. They want to make money off the cosmetics of selling different boards and uh, guardians and card backs and all that kind of stuff and skins. I'm going to send you back, Scion. Well, no, we should discard... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just send you back, Scion. So I'm going to send you back and then just play a couple of 1-1s. Yeah, I dropped from Masters. Everybody dropped from Masters. Uh, when, the, when the new expansion expansion came out, the new season is is now live. So the season reset. So everybody's ranking reset. And so I am not in Masters rank anymore. But no, neither is anybody else. Time for the main event. Oh, if mushrooms could talk... Man, you just can't. I just can't attack with Draven. I can't trade Draven for Troll Chant, you know, because they're gonna have Troll Chant, Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, something like that. What's up, Sion? Welcome back. I got ways to find me mushrooms. All right, so Sion's at twenty-five out of thirty-five. Ah! All right, I'm just gonna play this. You know, a five-five overwhelm is huge, right? Like it's it's big. That's the that's the other great part about this warmonger, right? You can discard it, and that's awesome. But you can also just cast it, and now they they kind of have to you know be like frostbiting your five-five, and things like that. Man, Scion is gonna be just leveled up every time we play it, and leveled up Scion is awesome with that last breath. Okay, Draven, do I get rid of you, or what? I don't feel like we have the need to. I feel like they, like they want me to attack with Draven, right? Like, if I'm on the opponent's side, they want me to. There's no need. Ooh, deck tracker's working. Awesome. I heard wrong. You heard it wrong? No, I, I think deck tracker's working. That's what chat just said. So now this can get brittle steeled. What Silence Champion spell? Kill the weakest enemy. That's pretty good. Yes, absolutely. It's possible to interact with, with combos and everything. Yes, there are um, there are three speeds. There are slow speed, which, you know, like, like as far as magic goes, there's slow, which is like sorcery speed. There's fast in this game, which is like um, instant speed. <laughs> In magic and then there's actually burst what my opponent's doing right now those are burst speed cards burst speed is like split second burst speed you don't get to interact with and you keep priority whenever you play just like split second so you know you can play some of these and you keep priority each round is shared like they they play like for for magic speak each turn is shared they play creatures I play creatures the same round and so it's much more even than in Magic, like where one person has a turn and they're the only one that can do stuff. It's just one person has the attack token, the other person doesn't. So right, this round or this turn, they're the attacker. Now we're cooking. But yeah, there's not too many like straight up combo decks in this game. Okay, so you know, getting getting removal spells out of their hand, which is what I want to do. I imagine I'm going to be killing that. Yes, dude, Scion level up. That's awesome. So I imagine I'm going to be killing this Teemo anyway with this Roar of the Slayer. We can discard the Warmonger. Yeah, there are no like ad nauseum type combo decks in this game. Yeah, when your champions level up, your champions are like your mythics. 
In this game, also, which kind of helps it a little bit budget-wise, you're only allowed six total... You have 40 cards in the deck. You're only allowed six total champions. The mulligan system is amazing. You you choose each card individually to mulligan, and you get to know what you're... It's, even though it's best of one, you get to know what you're playing against before you mulligan, and you get to mulligan each card individually. This will be my magnum opus. So with, with magic and best of one is really tough because you don't know what you're playing against at any time, and so it makes playing best of one really difficult. Okay, is that like Hearthstone? Yeah, new, new Karina, pretty awesome. So they they grew their Karina to be an 8-8 thanks to the Starlet Seer. And of course, I want the Scion to die, because if the Scion dies, we get Scion returned. Last breath, Scion returned. Rally. Yes, please. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Okay, so that's going to happen. So this is going to put them down to seven. By snow and stars. Ooh, I you suck. I guess I'll discard the spinning axe. You know, could discard this thing, but maybe, maybe we cast it. There's a chance. Roar of the Slayer. Yeah, I thought the Darkness Control deck did pretty well. I think that um, I made a couple of mistakes, and we also had some bad luck and things like that with, with two of the games. The 2-3 the record really could have been a 4-1. It wasn't that far off. Mini Morph underperformed by quite a bit, surprisingly enough. Okay, yeah, so we could play Experimenter, but I'm just going to play Warmonger plus Draven. Especially, like, this kind of deck. You don't necessarily want to draw lots of cards. Uh, I would assume no. The question is, is can you can you, can you you summon a new Scion if you have this Scion in play? I would assume no, because this one is still named Scion. It still has the... So I think it's just like a Nivea, like Egg Nivea. It has that champion border and everything still. So I don't believe you can summon a new Scion. Okay, so we're going to Spinning Axe, the Draven. Time for the money maker. Just so we can get that other 3 2 in play, attacking. Looks like we got him. Right where I want you. There we go. Alright. Man, this Scion deck's looking good. Currently 2 and 0. Oh. We defeated Caitlyn Timo, which is going to be the deck we're going to be playing up next. Me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. All right, we are facing darkness control. So let's see how Scion looks against the darkness. Well, this looks pretty good. We can get rid of the Poro Cannon, I guess. We have we don't need three discard out. You know, we have three discard outlets to start with. I guess we let's get rid of the Poro Cannon. Okay, we still have three discard outlets at the beginning. They'll all draw cards. I don't have the attack token, but I want the attack token. Okay, that card's good. That's why I was wondering if we should be playing that card in our deck instead of... Um, instead of the one drop that we were playing. Our hand's looking good. It's Dr. Avon time. Okay. I think we will, like... 
All right, so it does two damage. Let's just go ahead and do this before attacking. Could open attack, but I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and just get seven more power in play. Dude, Scion is so easy to level up. Okay, good card. So yeah, each one of these Grenadiers count as six for Scion. It feels like they got rid of so many cards from us, but honestly, they didn't really. This 5-5 five, five Overwhelm has been awesome. So playing it right now, because it's 5 mana, so the next round we'll have 6 mana, so we'll be able to, like, Revenant and Rider. Or maybe not. We'll be able to Revenant and something else. Okay, so their Darkness has only cost 1 mana now. Yeah. Thinking, like, with Senna, like, Fast B, like, could they do... Should have done that and attacked with the 1 1 also. Thought about that. Could be casting the Whirling Death here to give the Draven Overwhelm and then try to have, you know, have that damage go across. But it's just kind of a little risky against any kind of removal spell. So there could be plenty of removal spells. Alright, saving the 3 spell mana for Whirling Death. All right, so let's see how good Darkness is. Like, they're going to be able to kill a lot of stuff with these Darkness, unfortunately. Yeah, this could be pretty bad for us. Maybe I shouldn't actually cast Scion this round. Lifesteal. So open attack. One attack does like seven. Well, why don't we just play Scion? I guess Scion, yeah, because Scion has that last breath. Rally. They kill Scion right away while I have the attack token, though. Hmm. Alright, we're going Scion. This animation's super cool. Could get mini morphed. Hope not. Nope. <laughs> Auto concede. Dude, our deck is awesome. Victory is a case I will never forget. Okay, Agent Iowa says I used your Senna Vagar control deck, so darkness control. And I've beaten five straight uh Caitlin Teemo decks. There we go. Okay, we got Fiznami. This is a good low cost hand. I like having these Little Poros against Fiznami. I know we could put 5 power in play immediately to attack. Which I guess I still just could. Maybe I'll just do that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm expecting Mystic Shot. Yeah, that was their very first card. I should have played that. I should have kept the three spell mana to discard Lost Soul and then play the new Lost Soul. To play Twin Blade it's Revenant. Raven time. Yep, there every every two months, so every season is two months long. At the end of the two months, there is a seasonal tournament. And you qualify, the, there's uh, 1,056 people qualify for it. You qualify it for being the top 700 players in Master's Rank. Well, or, um, or there's another mode with like through the gauntlets. The 356 people qualify in the gauntlets. And that's that's like the, the big inclined tournament. Well, the seasonal inclined tournament that first place is $10,000. So there is, you know, good tournament scene with that. Um, besides that, there's also like world championships and things like that, which I don't have the most information about. I don't know exactly all about that, but there's also those kind of tournaments as well. Scion deck looking pretty scary. Out. All right, so we got them get rid of a pick a card. So we just have that, that card advantage here, just all these things that discard, draw. We haven't felt like we have needed um, hasn't felt like we've needed rummage, you know, like haven't felt like I missed rummage at all. Sure. That's what you want to do. I mean, you're you're allowed to do that. It's not against the rules. All right, they got all the wiggly burble fishes. They got some burbles. And every time, every game, we just play Scion. Scion's easily leveled up. GG's. They concede. That's it. <laughs> For now. Scion is busted. Okay, we got another Nami deck. Nami Aphelios. Hopefully we can just run over another Nami deck like we have been. Okay, so we don't have any, like, immediate discard outlet. Let's go ahead and mulligan you, because I don't necessarily want to just cast Fallen Rider. I like to mulligan Fallen Rider. But, like, these are, like, really good cards to discard. I kind of think I'm just going to keep this and hope we draw one of our early discard things again. We have had a, a really good, like, we've had our one drop most every one of these games. All right, so we're getting punished. All right, well, I'm just gonna hard cast you. Not ideal. All right, so probably a Felios. Oh, that thing. I wish I had one more mana, I could have six mana next round. We only have five mana next round. Alright, cool. Axes coming right up. You cannot hold us down. Keeping those three mana for this, get excited. Let's see if they play Aphelios. 
Three, three elusive for every two spells you play in a round. Grant other allies plus one, plus one. That card is really good. Uh, what are we discarding? I guess the spinning axe. All right, GG's. That's going to be a 5-0. How about that? Sending them back. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> How about that? 5-0 on release day with Draven Scion. This looked great. This deck looks, looked great. And I, th I think just everything about it was really good. There's, you know, like I said, it was a difficult deck to build and it was a difficult deck to cut down on cards that we have been playing in this style of deck, right? Like you really want to play some of these cards like Stress Testing and Boom Baboon and Flame Chompers and Vision and Rummage, right? You really want to play those cards because those are the discard cards we have been playing for so long. But I just felt like this was just going to be a lot more powerful. One to one to continue on with just a lot of units. One to really focus on like discarding these units um, and everything to help Scion level up. And it just kind of felt like that's what we needed. And we had good good enough card advantage. We had Urchin, Gray Physician, Sump Dredger, which were all incredible. A card like Lossal, this card was amazing. Really glad we had three of them because it just like discarding this was just so much better than discarding. Um, What's his name? The card that I was just talking about. Uh, <laughs> Flame Chompers, right? Lost Soul is just like a much, much, much upgraded Flame Chompers. Not only do you get the five power discarded to help level up Scion, but then you create this thing in hand, and this card was awesome for us. We're just, you know, like this is just Merciless Hunter, but better with a Last Breath, <laughs> right? Because you know, it's just, the, it's a four mana Merciless Hunter, Last Breath. And so we we're creating that in hand with, you know, getting, you know, with being able to discard. This was amazing. And then we just make another one and do it all over again. So that was amazing. Um, but like I said, those Sump Dredgers, Great Physician, Urchin were really good. Poro Cannon, really well positioned right now with all these daring, with lots of elusives running around. So the daring Poros did their job of just getting in the way. The Get Excited were great removal. Everything worked out great. And even just like Warmonger, right? Like sometimes we discard a Warmonger for the plus two, plus zero, but we actually ended up just like hard casting Warmonger a lot of just a, a five mana, five, five overwhelm. Whenever we you put all the other pressure on your opponent with all this other stuff, it's hard for them to then deal with a five, five overwhelm at five mana. You know, this is basically, you know, basically Ruin Runner, right? You know, it's not as good as Ruin Runner, but you know, whenever we're doing all this other stuff, it was a great five drop to finish it out. But it just has that utility because you can also discard it and make like a 4-1 Urchin on round one. So really, really, uh, really impressive deck. And then you had Scion at the top end, right? Three copies of Scion. We're not messing with Jinx because as you saw, like with all those games, we weren't even close to having an empty hand. I guess there was one game where we were kind of close. We weren't very close to having an empty hand. I wasn't worried about that. I wanted to just play Scion and win the game. This just has so much overwhelm power. Um, it's so big. And then if they try to, you just can't kill it. It's it's awesome. So we didn't run into any mini morphs for it. And since we didn't, then we just, like they just conceded every time we played a Scion basically. All right, so there we go, Draven Scion. And it's just auto leveled, right? Like it was always leveled at round seven. There was never a time where it was even close to not being leveled up. It was very, very easy to level this card up. All right, so there we go. That's Draven Scion. Super impressive deck here to start the, uh, ban you know, beyond the Bandlewood expansion out. If you want to play Scion, definitely give this deck a try. Definitely try it out. And let me know in the comment section. I want to hear from y'all because I'm sure some of y'all will be picking this up, trying it out yourself. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the deck and hopefully it really works out for you as well. So let me know. All right, but that's going to be it here for Draven Scion. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.